Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Sucre with the Arizona Trauma Association, and this is Trauma in a Flash. Cardiac injuries occur in about 6.4% of penetrating chest injuries, and 80 to 90% of these patients die before ever reaching the hospital. However, patient survival for those that do reach the hospital is predicated on the mechanism of injury, hemodynamic stability, and the presence of any associated injuries, especially to the great thoracic vasculature. In this episode, I present a case of penetrating cardiac injury from a stab wound to the anterior chest wall. On arrival, he was hemodynamically normal with a single wound to the upper left chest. His respirations were clear and equal with normal oxygen saturation on room air. His heart sounds were normal with normal appearing neck veins. Note that the injury is located in what is termed the cardiac box. This area is bound superior by the clavicles, lateral by the nipple line, and inferior by the xiphoid process. Classic surgical teaching dictates that penetrating injuries in the box should alert the surgeon to evaluate for potential cardiac injury. In this case, the patient underwent initial chest x-ray, which did not reveal any evidence of pneumothorax. However, a fast was performed, which clearly demonstrated a moderate-sized hemopericardium, prompting immediate surgical intervention. A cortis was placed in the right internal jugular vein. Emergent blood products were prepared, and the rapid transfuser was primed. Fortunately, the patient did not exhibit cardiac tamponade physiology and remained hemodynamically stable through the induction of anesthesia and the entire operation. A sternotomy was performed with quick identification of a single one centimeter wound to the right ventricle. This was repaired with pledgeted mattress sutures. A mediastinal drainage tube and left chest tube were placed. The sternotomy was closed and he was successfully extubated following the operation. His postoperative chest x-ray was clear and he remained hemodynamically normal through transition to the next echelon of care. More recently, the boundaries of the cardiac box have been called into question. In a 2016 article published in the Journal of Trauma and Acute Care Surgery, Dr. Morris showed that there was an equal incidence of penetrating injury to the heart from gunshot wounds that entered the lateral aspect of the left chest as compared to the classic boundaries of the cardiac box. Essentially, my takeaway from the 2016 article is that the nature of injury pattern has shifted since the original description of the cardiac box in that our society has seen an increase in penetrating chest wall injuries due to firearms versus stab wounds. I think a little common sense dictates that high velocity projectiles can certainly travel long distances through the body and therefore the surgeon should always maintain a high level of suspicion for possible cardiac injury with any gunshot wound to the chest wall. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Trauma in a Flash.